Hello! In this video, I will demonstrate to you the properties of Scandi PWA Multistore. Specifically, you will see that you can set different URLs, logos, default pages, languages, menus, products and prices, currencies, color and content customizations, and shipping and payment methods. Each section will be described in more details in separate how to videos. URLs In Scandi PWA demo, there are five different stores where each of them has different URL. As an example, I can open UK website and then switch to Germany. As you can see, the URLs are different. And if we open stores configurations, we can see the corresponding URLs there. The configuration for UK website. The configurations for Germany. Logos. You can configure your settings of store branding for each store view individually. We see the German logo on German website, open backend, German store view, and see the corresponding logo set here. We switch to UK and see a different logo here. We go back to backend and open UK store view and see the corresponding logo uploaded here. Default pages. Default pages can be also assigned to different stores to get a different content. On the demo, different homepages are set for UK and German websites, which can be done in stores configurations. The configuration for German website, the configuration for UK website. Languages. A store locale can be chosen on the store view level. Canada website, for instance, has two stores with different languages, English and French. Again, the corresponding settings can be seen in backend. Configuration for Canada English and configuration for Canada French. Menus. Scandi PWA allows you to set different menus on store view level using the Scandi Web Menu Manager. On Canada website, we are selling clothes, specifically jeans and accessories. On German website, we are selling furniture. Let's open the Menu Manager in backend to confirm that different menus are set there. We open the menu for German website and see the visibility is set to Germany. We check the same for Canada French menu. The visibility is set to Canada French only. Products. Products can be set on the website level. If we open this armchair in backend, we can see that it is assigned to German website only. So if we try to access it on UK website, for instance, we will get a 404 page. Currencies. We can set different display currencies. For example, as you have already noticed on German website, we have euros, but on UK, we have pounds. The default display currency can be set on the store view level in backend. The configurations for German website and UK. Prices. If you are selling the same products in different stores, you can set different prices for them on the website level. We have the same dress in UK and US websites, but for one of the product options, the price differs significantly. We choose white color and size XS. Switch to US website and see the price is significantly smaller here. We open the product in backend and see the settings for UK website. The price is set 119 euros. If we switch to US, the price here is set to 50 euros. Color customization. Base colors that are used in the theme can be changed on the store view level. On UK website, we see orange colors, but on German, we can see red. In stores configurations, we can find the corresponding settings. The configurations for UK website, you can see that the allow custom colors is set to no, therefore the theme uses the default orange colors. In Germany, 
The setting is set to yes and the red colors are chosen as primary. Content customization. The same as for color, content customization can be managed on store view level in store configurations as well. Different CMS blocks in Minicart are set for UK and German store view. The configuration for German store view and UK. If we open front end, we can see that the content in the blocks is different on German website and on UK. Shipping and payment methods. Shipping and payment methods can be set on the level of website. Let's check the conditions for free shipping on German and UK websites. The configurations for UK website and the configuration for German. We can see that the different order amount is set to get the free shipping. Card the right quantity of product to meet the conditions on UK website and see if the method appears. I can see the free shipping available. I will open the German website on different tab to get a more convenient comparison. I will add to cart less than required to see that no free shipping is available. Free shipping is not available. I will go back and increase the quantity. The free shipping appears as an option. Going further, I can see the payment methods that are available on German website and the payment methods available on UK website. As you can see, the Braintree is available on German website only, so let's check the configuration for Braintree payment method. On German website, the Braintree method is enabled. On UK website, the method is disabled. I can complete the order on both websites. If I open the orders in backend, I will see the different order date for both of them. For German order, the Berlin time is used. For UK, London time. If I open configurations, I will see the corresponding settings for time zone. For UK website, the London is set. For German website, Berlin 